video demonstrates how to install and configure Device Tracker using an EMM, in this case, SOTI. Refer to the Device Tracker documentation in TechDocs for the step-by-step -step procedure. Follow installation steps 1 through 3, which are common regardless of the EMM in use. These steps are Step 1. Make sure the required ports are open and the specific domains are allowed through the firewall or proxy in order for devices to communicate to the cloud server. Step 2. Connect a device to the Wi-Fi network to access the cloud server. And Step 3. Enable Bluetooth and location services for device tracking to take place. This video focuses on Steps 4 through 7. Step 4. Download and deploy the Device Tracker Client APK to the device using the standard steps through the EMM. For Step 5, if SOTI is the EMM in use, it automatically grants the required permissions, so there is no additional action required. Step 6. Download the Device Tracker Setup XML file to grant permissions, disable battery optimization, and start the device tracking service. Step 7. Download the Server Connection Settings XML for the device to communicate to the server. We will cover deployment of the three downloaded files, the APK file and the two XML files. The first step is to create command files to specify the action to take on each file. For the APK file, create a command file to install the APK file. For the device tracker XML file, create a command file to use mx with the mxconfig command to run the XML file. For the server config XML file, perform the same step to create a command file to use mx to run the XML file. Now that the files are ready, go to the SOTI Mobile Control web console. Make sure that the target devices are configured with SOTI Mobile Control Agent and they are enrolled to the appropriate device owner group, in this case, EMM underscore DO group. Download Package Studio and open the XC file. Create a new PCG package file for the APK file. From the file menu, create a new package project. Enter the package name. Note the project location path. For the platform, select Android. Click Next. Select the Post Install checkbox. Browse to the command file that provides the command to install the APK. Click Next. Click Add to add a file. Browse to the APK file and click Open. Enter the device destination folder. In this case, we'll keep the default to the SD card. Click OK. Click Next. Click Finish. Click Build Package Now. The PCG file is created. Follow the similar procedure for the two XML files. Create a new package file for the Device Tracker XML file. Enter the project name. For the platform, select Android. Click Next. Select the Post Install checkbox. Browse to the CMD file that provides the command to run the XML file. Click Next. Click Add to add a file. Browse to the Device Tracker Setup XML file. Store the file to the device SD card, then click OK. Click Next. Then click Finish. Click Build Package Now. The PCG package is created. Create another PCG package for the server connectivity settings. Enter the project name and select Android for the platform. Click Next. Select the Post Install checkbox. Browse to the CMD file that provides the command to run the XML file. Click Next. Click Add to add a file. Browse to the server connectivity XML file. Click Next, then click Finish. Click Build Package Now. The PCG package is created. 
Next, upload each PCG file as a package into the SODI system. Navigate to Packages and create a new package. Select Android Plus. Browse to the PCG package file for the APK install. Alternatively, the APK file could be directly uploaded rather than creating a PCG file. Since we are proceeding with the PCG file method, click Upload after opening the PCG file. The package is uploaded to the system. Repeat this for each of the other PCG files. Click New Package and select Android Plus. Browse to the PCG file created for Device Tracker XML. Open the file and upload it. The package is created. Repeat this process. Click New Package and select Android Plus. Browse to the PCG file created for the Server Connectivity XML. Open the file and upload it. The package is created. There's a total of three packages uploaded, one for the APK, one for the Server Connectivity XML, and one for the Device Tracker XML. Now, create a profile that contains all the packages. Under Configurations, click on Profiles. Create a new profile. Android is the platform. Then select Work Managed for Device Owner Mode. Enter the profile name. Optionally, enter a description for the profile. In the Packages tab, add the package created for the APK file into the profile. Then add the package created for the Device Tracker XML file and the package created for the Server Connectivity XML. All three are now listed. First, we install the APK file, then push the Device Tracker XML, and lastly, push the Server Connectivity XML to the device. Click Save and Assign. Under Devices, select the device group containing the devices to apply the profile to. Make sure the target devices are selected. Click Assign. The profile is assigned and deployed to the selected devices. That concludes how to install and configure Device Tracker through SUDI Mobi Control.